Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio. We are brought to you by championnews.net. And be sure to go to Champion News Online on YouTube and video, uh, view our videos. During the break, we were talking about this, this abatement and the process. Michael, by the law that has just been pushed down your throats there in Lake County, who is this going to affect and impact the most? It, it's going to affect, obviously, the most poorest communities in, in, in Lake County and any county for that matter. And the four that we, we uh, discovered years ago, and I talk about this, is Avon, which is the Round Lake area of Lake County, North Chicago, which is Shields Township, Waukegan Township, and Zion Township. The four highest tax townships in Lake County, the four poorest communities, poorest education, the highest taxes, um, you know, you, you go down to... They have the highest taxes and they're the poorest communities? Yes. Okay, well, wait, wait. It's a great there's combination. A but there's a correlation there, and, and folks are starting to get wind of this, and they, they're, as long as we can educate them and they see, and it's tied to education. You have teen pregnancy, you have all these problems in your schools, but these are the poorest communities, but they're taxed the most. Why are they putting so the much money? So, and they're getting lousy results. Yeah. Cyan right. Township's tax rate this year is going to be about 16% for a home. For a home. The, Why? The schools pay about six, pardon me, they cost us about $16,000 per student. Uh, the statewide average, and it happens to be the average in Chicago. Some of the rich uh, districts up along the, the North Lake Shore will spend uh, in the neighborhood of oh, twenty five or 30000 per child. But take the average. Uh, supposing you only had 20 kids in a class, 20 times 16 is $320,000 per classroom. Mm -hmm. The teacher is well paid and uh, on the average making about $70,000. And uh, I can get you a thousand feet of, of room uh, with heat and all of the things taken care of, suitable for an office for, let's make it generous, $20 a square foot. So now we've gone from, uh, say, 70,000, we're almost to 90. And with, with books and teacher and room and everything, we're at $1,000. Where the hell did the other $230,000 of the taxpayers' money go to? Yep. And so that's only if you say that there were 20 kids in a class, right. but the mm -hmm. average you know, in the city is about 26, yeah. other places about 23. Well, We're really getting screwed royally by the school system yeah. that's wasting money by the handful, by the bucket. Yeah, specifically so, so what are the implications what? for the, the, these poor communities? It's going to cost them more money. What else? What other things that did you so, want to... So here's the things. Forward? You know, we found this out uh, last week that the folks in Zion, they weren't even aware of the law of change. They weren't aware that you can abate your property taxes as a homeowner. They didn't I mean, even under, oh, they didn't even know that they could. We were asking these specific the targeted questions wow. to yeah, find only out because a third of them knew that they could actually appeal wow. their taxes. And, and so here's the thing: if you don't know all these things, and and we know that based on we'll take Vernon Township for example, we did a study. We went back ten years in Lake County, and Vernon Township is like the Lincolnshire, Buffalo Grove area. These folks, six out of ten years, had the highest appeal ratios. The most That's appeals true. were done in that township. Well. Blue collar, white collar, very well educated, and they can afford to pay someone. Right. Now, you think you're going to be, before you had a consultant who was probably doing it, what they could afford anyhow. Mm -hmm. But now in these communities, they're not going to pay an attorney. So you're going to pay an attorney $500 to $1,000 to save $1,000? Why? You're just paying the attorney to give him a job. So you, what, what, are, what are the poor people to do? First of all, you, you're, you're, yes. you're doing town halls in these areas to inform these people yes. that this is their right. This is a right that Absolutely. they can go ahead and, and, and appeal their there, property There's taxes. an answer to this thing, and, and is why are they screwing the regular homeowner that doesn't have uh, anything else to do? It's because they, they can't really get at them. Because the school system, is you think it's run by your school board? The hell it is. Because the school board is run by the stinking teachers union. And the teachers union takes $1,000 a year on the average from every teacher that's in the system in the state of Illinois. That's $132 million a year. Wince. Think of it. It's coming out of the pockets of the teachers. Right. And 80% of that, as, as, as reported out of the Supreme Court of the United States, 80% of that goes strictly for politics. And the Democrats get about 
of that money that comes out of the stinking teachers union, raping the teachers, and it goes right into the hands of such as Madigan and the rest of these stinker and trollops and fierce warriors <laughs> in, the, in the Democrat Party that have been screwing us all for a great length of time. Uh, this is the most crooked and most broke state. And incidentally, while we're talking about crooked, there's two Madigans here. There's, there's Madigan and his daughter, that's the attorney general that can't seem to find a crook. Yeah. There is luckily a U.S. attorney here who's sending a lot of Democrats to jail. The last one did too, lots of them, and some Republicans as well. But this attorney is finally, it's a U.S. attorney, not Miss Madigan. She can't find a, a, a crook with either eye. How come? <laughs> And she wants to run for governor? She's too busy going after Catholic charities because they don't want to put children in the homes of uh, uh, gay parents. You know. So re really quick, there's a solution for these folks in these poor communities. There's an organization called Poor Children's Future, Jack, and they're going to go in there and they're going to work with the township assessor and we're going to bring them all there and we're going to do workshops and seminars and we're going to help them lower their taxes as long as we can build that relationship with the assessor. That's what they're paid to do. They're elected to do that and we'll be more than happy to help them to do it for free. You're doing this comp you're doing this gratis for free. It, with the assessors. With the assessors yes. yes. We will work with the, with the township assessors to put this together. That 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 gives uh, fairness about the how the taxes are spread.